All right, I gotta talk about taxes. I just realized something. I don't have the the, the, the educational background on taxing, uh, so I the law, so I couldn't say. I hope somebody could tell me where to find this and prove this. But so I'm just trying to learn about common law and mer commercial statutory law for myself. Uh, not trying to be a lawyer, but just a, an informed, educated, you got to, more than just informed, but educated in the, in the legal system, uh, individual. I don't know. You're supposed to say just man. Use any other term. They, 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 they tax individuals and persons and, and citizens and residents, as far as I know. Humans, too? I don't know. But a man and a woman, they're not taxable. They're not, okay, so Why? You just can't. That just means you own them. So let's get to the point. How do we how do we say okay to taxes? If taxes own you, taxes are a requirement, right? Whether they're enforced, they're enforced. They're enforced against you. So how do we? So that's technically uh, like indentured servitude. Is that the word? It's slavery. How do we allow this? If you don't know the laws, right, and the statutes. How do you just use your brain and your common sense? If you're studying common law, you have to think, okay, well, a good way to do it is, 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 is kind of to sort of test it. If it's not obvious to you. You just go, out of a hundred of my neighbors, how many would vote on this particular situation? Like, obvious. This is universal, I suppose, around the world. There's no hundred people in any, in any group or culture, nation around the world that the majority would vote, I mean like, barely any would vote, that the government would have the power to take your home um, with taxes, with taxes, right? Like, how could people vote for that upon their neighbor, right? So you know that the fact that that is common, that's like a common, it's, it's not even a practice, It's it's like, do you practice taking a dump in the morning? It's not a practice. It's some. It's a freaking hypnosis. All you gotta, all people have to do is say, "Hey, realize a hundred of us." And, and I don't know what the process would be to express and enforce this. Hey, a hundred of us said no. Like a hundred people should be able to come together and, and 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 publicly say, "We don't." Number one, and you don't either, because we are a hundred, a, a sample of a hundred. Not a single one of us would vote on this. So how did we get there? Right, so apparently, this is what I'm, this is the impression that I'm getting. Apparently, how did we how, how did we allow this to happen? It couldn't have been just like one day we were free from that kind of extortion, and then the next day we just took it out of the blue. And it, so I guess it happened somewhere in the uh, late 1800s to early 1900s. So like, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, the first, okay, the first ones, it's commerce. It's commerce. Those were the those are the ones where the people said, okay, this isn't exactly extortion, but it is. But it's a kind of extortion that is uh, much easier, much more easily sold to a lazy public. If, we're, if it's a strong public and a government proposed any kind of forced taxes, it would just be absolutely no. But if we're just talking about an average society, that's just like, uh, if you threaten me enough, but at the same time offers a sweet deal of slavery, then I mean, come on, sure, why not, right? <clears throat> so what was that threshold that they, you know, that they sold the least amount of slavery to? Uh, to, to the people, it was uh, what? What was the minimum that we that we accepted? It was commercial. And so why, why is that key? Well, because it's obvious if you're taxing. The reason why is because if you tax something that isn't commercial. So commercial means that. So let's say your merchandise that you're importing. So like they call that excise duties, import or some something about that. However they apply, they have, they have different names. But they're attached, they're direct taxes, I believe, attached directly to the, you know, the cost 
of say, you know, your inventory. No, no, the sidis is the, yes, the sidis is the connection. Well, I know that term. I don't know if it applies to why I'm using it, but it's related. It's like, there's a, a there's a sidis that connects a tax to a person. He can't just tax them. So like the person is the monopoly token. He can't just tax it for having stuff. Because it's all, it, when, they, when they take income, and they, so they went from income, maybe at the same time. I don't know exactly the order, but income, estate, and property. This is one thing they all have in common. And there, I don't think there's any difference. They're all yours, even your income. You think, well, what's coming from your boss? And it's like, you work just for your dollar or whatever. You work for that for you, right? Like you don't have like in your personal income account or it's like 10% goes to church, 10% goes to my own business or my friends or what. There's no, there's, there's nothing, to, I think the word is sidis. Because the cut they're taking, check this out, this is how it is. You need a sidis, which is a connection to something commercial. You need to be connected to commercial. So like this, export and import, right? They're from corporation to corporation. You need that citus connection. Citus is a connection, citus nexus. You need that connection to the commercial. Why? Because without the commercial, the cut that they take is fatal. It's potentially fatal. Because it, that cut, if they tax your tomato, your house, your car, Right? It's, it's taken from dead money. It's dead money. It's spent and it has no, it has no potential life. It only ha it, it's, it's only perishable until you put it into, until you invest. This must be where they started it. And if we could find out where this is defined, because it would totally conflict with what they're practicing. Because there's no citus. There's no, there's no connection to the commercial. Okay. So the commercial, the income, the value that they're taxing, the cut that they're taking is on live money. Do you get what I'm saying? You, you, you take a cut out of you know, selling a bunch of used phones. So I buy 20 of these for 2,000 or something, let's just say. So let's just say, I, right? And they take out 400 on it. That chunk, it doesn't bleed, it doesn't bleed me. It's not dying. It may bleed for a little bit, but it's attached to a, a, a living income. It's attached to a living income that's feeding. So because it's cutting off a feed at a level that, that isn't um, homicidal, whatever the word is, you know what I'm saying? It's not, it's not something subtle. It's not destructive. It's not destructive. It's just, uh, it's not supplemental, but it's a little vampiric. It's a little vamp, I mean, come on, it's a, it's a necessary, e it's not, a, it's not necessary. But, you know, the best argument you're going to give them is it's a necessary drainage. But, so I guess it was the income. 16th Amendment or no? 16th or 14th? I think 16th. So somewhere around in between 1800s and 19th and 20th century, in between those two, around there. The income tax, okay? Before that, so that was the worst. That was, that was a, they had, they needed a big reason, so it was a World War One. So yeah, it was like 1930 or something like that. So they needed that for the war. They didn't, I mean, that's not justification, but when you throw that word need, you know, it's like, we, we gotta, we have to protect each other from the virus. So, you know, we gotta take the, whatever. If, if we don't, then it's gonna be our fault. And so that's why you need that citus. And like, they, they removed the freaking common sense from what I'm telling you is a common sense. You can't tax dead Money, you can't tax dead property, perishable, but we accept it. We accept it. If, if only at a minimum, it 
doesn't contri- it can't contri- it, it, it's hard to define ex precisely, but it just can't be, it can't be contributing to death. The money has to be, it has to be growing to offset, to some degree to offset the cut. If it's just static, it's like, like a house, it's just a static value. You know, ignoring the speculative real estate values, right? It's just a, a static value. So when you take a cut, you're technically, you're, you can't cut. You can't cut. It's what's cutting off income. You can take a sip. What is the word? I don't have the background. I don't know. Anyway. Like, this should not sit well. This should this shouldn't be something you go to sleep with going, oh that's cool. We can just keep going with life like this. They can't be taxing your homes. They're taxing every they're ripping everybody off. They're making everyone bleed. Like if you're gonna be a good gangster, you can't make people bleed. That's why they tax their freaking income. You can trick people so much. Like, fine. We'll be extorted if we get something back from it. So it's got there's got to be a citizen to a commercial activity because no one is going. No one, no hundred people, no majority of ten, any group of people would would, would allow them to do this to a non to non-commercial property, your estate. And see, this estate is a little bit easier because it's like just one transfer. I'm gonna give this to my. Uh, grandson or whatever. Like, well, let us get a little bit of that. A good chunk. Why? <laughs> like, why is there a penalty to give that to my grandson? That's another one. Why are you just cutting us like, this is mine and my grandson. Why are you cutting us like that? We're not even growing from it. We, you, there's, there's nothing that you can add back to that. See what I'm saying? They can't, they can't cut out of your estate and then add back to the state necessarily. I, yeah, I guess you have to be fishing for a, you know a justification. Yeah, they took some of the state taxes out. That's going to uh, benefit. The, what? How? You're just cut in your flesh. That's it. Fuck.